It's Henry! Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry. I'm always the bones. Good morning. This is that Troy-built, self-propelled lawnmower that I got from Larry. The reason why he gave it to me was because the deck is Donsky! Also, it's missing the uh, bale cable, right? Uh, but it seems to have a good drive cable seems to work. Now, I don't know if the drive works because we couldn't get this engine started. The reason why the engine didn't start is because A, the bail cable is not engaged, right? And uh, the spring has been taken out, which means that you can use your hand and just like pull it together easily uh, so that it does uh, take the brake off the flywheel so that you can pull it to see if it starts, right? But what happened with this again over at Larry's house? That's right, exactly the same engine on a Troy build on my other one was the one that caused me to have a the, the, the brake handle pull back, not the pull roll pull back out of my hand and wrap around the thing and the handle hit me in the tit, remember? It's getting better, but it was one hell of a bruise. It's very dangerous to be pulling a pull rope with a sheared keyway. And that's what I think it is. Anyway, so I got a subscriber, Bill Martini, over in Central Islip. He, uh, he saw the video and he says that he has the same exact mower at home and he needs the bail handle and the cable, right? Well, I'm going to try to fix the um, sheared keyway in here today to see if it starts, right? And then I'm going to take the engine off because I don't want the rest. So he's welcome to it. Shout out to Bill Martini for donating money to the channel. You're more than welcome. He asked me if uh, how much for the stuff. He's gonna come and pick it up today, right? And I says, I'm not gonna charge you for the stuff, but just donate whatever you can to the channel. It's very much appreciated, you know what I'm saying? Uh, local guy here in Long Island, so, you know, gotta take care of my local boys, right? Um, anyway, so he can have the rest. The wheels, um, the wheels, the front two are not too good, but the rear's okay, you know, have good tread. And if you can get the propulsion, it's a good spare for his mower. So I don't know what it is about the Troy builds and the sheared keyway. It's just, it's just strange that both Troy built mowers that I got both have sheared keyways. It's just weird, you know what I mean? He also purchased one of my new Donsky stickers. He's actually the first guy to order my new Donsky stickers. You know what's odd is that the video announcing the Dunsky stickers comes out today and he bought it yesterday. So how the hell did you know that I had Dunsky stickers up? Also from yesterday's episode, I was welding that deck in my flip flops and shorts like I normally do. So many people always say, hey Harry, you should put on some boots. You're gonna get hurt. Well, like I said, uh, an old dog, you can't teach an old dog new tricks, right? So I'm limping around today because I had a couple of burns on my feet. Of course, I got holes in my flip-flops, you know? I don't know, you never learn, you know what I'm saying? Speaking of the devil, it's Bill Martini. Let's see what he does. It's Henry. I'm always in blowing. So you know what's weird is that um, I didn't, the video for me announcing these stickers is tonight, yet he bought one last night. So I'm like, how do you know? I got made skills. Bill, how did you know I had Dunsky stickers? I just happened to check your eBay page. Thank you, sir. He is the first recipient of the first ever Dunsky sticker. <laughs> so get this, Mercedes Benz calls my wife, right? Uh, well, actually, she took her Mercedes in to get a coolant thingamajig figured out because she always had a coolant notification on her dash. So we thought that it was just like a sensor or something, right? So she brings it in for inspection today to get her uh, oil change and inspection sticker, right? And the guy says, hey, you need a new thermostat and pipe leading to uh, whatever your radiator, right? And it's going to be like $900. So she calls me up. She goes, can you fix that? And I'm 
like, oh boy, I have done a thermostat before, but that was on a 1967 <laughs> Oldsmobile Delta 88, and it was in the front. It was easy, you know what I mean? So with the new stuff, I mean, you guys know, with the new European cars, especially that, you open the hood, all you see is plastic. I mean, I don't know what I got to take apart to get to that area, you know, not to mention the fact that it's bolted onto the uh, engine block with gaskets and stuff, and honestly, I really didn't think I wanted to mess with that because, you know, I, I'm a little out of my element. I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel confident about it, right? And given the fact that that car has been, and believe it or not, fellas, Mercedes is pretty reliable. Like my blue thing over here, I bought it in 2013. I've never had any problems with it. You put the key in and you drive it, you know? So when people say that Mercedes is unreliable or German cars are unreliable, now I'll tell you this, if something happens to it, yeah. I mean, the parts are ridiculous. Uh, Bill works for a uh, German uh, Volkswagen. Volkswagen dealer, so he's a mechanic for them, so he knows. But uh, So that wasn't something I was ready to dig my hands into. Given the fact that I'm overwhelmed from enough stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, so $900 is going to cost her to fix it. But anyway, when I went to go pick up my wife to bring her back from the dealership, I left Bill over here. I, I just ran off. I just, hey, take that engine off. <laughs> so I gave him my tools over here, and next thing you know, I just said take the engine off. Remember, we suspected this that it had a, a, a sheared keyway, right? But then when I flipped it on its side, right, the um, the crankshaft bolt was completely loose. I mean, I could hand turn it off, so I thought that might have been a problem. But when I got back from returning with my wife, right, Bill had the engine off, he had the covers off, he had the gas tank off, and he goes, it's a sheer keyway. It's a sheer keyway! You know. Just like what I said. So now we're going to take the uh, bolt off. Look at this. He knows exactly what's next. See, that's what the that, that's the best thing about um, hanging out with a guy that Don't wrench rem you. remember, I'm a wrencher and a flipper. I'm not a mechanic. But I am. But he is! <laughs> so look, as soon as I walk in there to do it the tarot way to get this thing. He put, the, he put the nut on there because he knows exactly what's next. You know what I'm saying? And people say, hey, that Henry, that tarot way is unorthodox. Oh, yeah? It always worked. Actually, I should have a crowbar. Not this. <laughs> the engine's unbolted. Yeah, that too. So now Bill's holding it, right? And I, my I, fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my forehead. There you go. One shot, one it one. always works. You just need a heavy sledgehammer is all. You know what I'm saying? So Bill's going to take the whole mower with him. Uh, he contributed a very generous amount to mowers and blowers. If you guys would like to donate a buck or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Keep the videos coming every day. And also, I've got the new Dunsky stickers, and I've got the regular stickers, and I got the bumper stickers in there. And listen, only for my wonderful subscribers of Mowers and Blowers, I've got a new patriotic design coming. You know, you really got to calm down, Bill. Really. I know. I, I can't control myself sometimes. So we're going to take off. Ooh. There you go. Check that out, baby. Sheer Keyway. Money shot. Sheared keyway. <laughs> the results. That's of it. The sheared keyway. So I've got, I've got a new keyway here. See, actually, it's not new. It's from another mower. <laughs> it it looks okay. You know, you look at it, you inspect it. This is an original Briggs and Stratton one. Here, I'll show it to you. <laughs> it's not sheared. That's the important part. Has a Briggs and Stratton thing, right? The Briggs and Stratton keyways are a little unique to the uh, other ones, such as a Woodruff, which is a half moon. It has like these little notches there on the side. I know this is a video all in itself. I haven't even gotten to the main <laughs> point of the video yet. But uh, listen, so as you guys know, I, I, I fabricated that deck to work yesterday, but it doesn't work because the, the belt doesn't work. You know, it's too short. But then I thought to myself, when I took the old deck off of that thing, I had the belt. So I can't understand why it doesn't fit. I think I might have missed a pulley or something. So I'm gonna I'm gonna whip out that belt again and see if it works because it doesn't make any sense and it doesn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, you should clean this shit out and blah blah blah. But that's only if I was a mechanic, see? <laughs> a flipper just gets it going and out of my yard. Sell it. Get rid of it.
I don't provide any warranties, see? So you just put that thing back in there like that, right? Wiggle it around a little, make sure it matches up, which it doesn't. <laughs> and then take a screwdriver and just uh, pop it in. So Bill and I have been shooting the shit for quite a while. Um, I uh, put this engine together now. Put it so uh, before my battery just ran out, uh, Bill and I have been talking for a long time. Uh, gotten really to know him, nice guy. And uh, I got this bucket from Larry yesterday. And so we put this engine together. It was just a sheared keyway. I put the uh, keyway back in there and again. And then uh, I'm giving this uh, carcass to Bill. And so this was just designed to, you know, these buckets, they make great stands for engines when you don't have a place to put them. You know what I mean? Um, I've also given Bill these. So um, Bill uh, wants to do more of these too. And... Uh, I do not want to work on that Murray. And this was the Murray that Larry gave me the other day. This engine runs great. Such a smooth engine. It's a Quantum. I love Quantums. And yes, I am giving away for free two Quantum engines, <laughs> which you guys know, you, heard of. you can sell those gas tanks for 25, 30 bucks on eBay and uh, all these parts and stuff. But honestly, uh, Bill's a nice guy. He's been contributing to my channel since I started. He buys all my stickers. He's truly a nice guy and you know he's just getting started with this uh, lawnmower flipping and stuff and he, he finds it very fun as I do right. as, as all you guys all do too. And so I, I just have so much on my plate right now. I feel good about giving these to Bill so that he could have some stuff to do while he's at home and uh, I appreciate his support very much and so it's my way of giving back too, you know what I'm saying? Larry, I hope it's okay that I give Bill... <laughs> yes, Larry, thank you. I hope it's okay that I give Bill this uh, mower because... Um... <laughs> well, you didn't want it! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh! Just to show you... He's got the mowers and blower sticker! The bumper sticker! Remember, that's only $5. I don't make much money off of that at all, but... I want you guys to help me get the name out. So, help me out, buy a sticker. Shout out to Mark Currens from Versailles, Kentucky, for buying a bunch of stickers. Thank you very much, for Mark. Mark is Iron Duke on YouTube. Thanks very much for supporting the channel, Mark. Keeping the videos coming every day. Support the channel, buy a sticker. Anyway, that might be one of the first stickers I've ever sold to the state of Kentucky as well. I'm going down south to the Confederate States, man. Yeah. Uh, so my friend Bill Martini from Islip had a nice little visit from him. Uh, he helped me remove the uh, broken sheared key out of the keyway of that Troy built uh, lawnmower. It had a quantum engine on it and of course the telltale sign of it Pulling out of your hand like that is usually, more times than not, a sheared keyway. That was also the one that hit me in the tit here, it still hurts, an identical Troy build. Anyway, I took the engine off and uh, he helped me take off the flywheel. Well, we put up, we took off the flywheel, but he helped me take off all the other stuff. And I uh, replaced the keyway in there. I haven't tested it because it's off the uh, mower. Uh, I'll put it onto another uh, mower deck and we'll see what it does and see if it starts. But uh, that's fixing the sheared keyway so that shouldn't have a problem. Um, another telltale sign, other than the fact that it pulls out of your hand, is that the blade um, crankshaft bolt is loose and your blade is loose because it can't tighten. See what I'm saying? So that's another telltale sign. It pulls out of your hand and the blade is loose and the screw, you can just turn the bolt, you can take it right off. So. Uh, Thank you very much, Bill Martini, for uh, buying my first Don sticker. Those are on sale now. There's only 10 listed right now, but don't worry. I'm getting another shipment of 50, either today or tomorrow. So if you're interested in a Dunsky sticker, have at it, man. Really helps support the channel. Thank you very much. Uh, now that Bill's gone, we've got that lawnmower taken care of, and also he has eased my anxiety 
by taking two more lawnmowers away from me. Uh, yes, they have quantum engines and usually I keep them for something, but I currently don't have any decks, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't want to fix those two. It's just uh, gotten to the point where I don't want to fix those kind of mowers, the old ones. I'd rather fix newer ones, you know? Uh, I have so many that I get the pick, which is a luxury, you know? But right now, this bothers me. So I took the whole box of belts that I have out here, and I tell you, I went back to the video of when I first took the original deck off this tractor before I did all the work to it, and I remember I kept the belt. So it doesn't make any sense that I can't get the belt on there. It's gotta be in here. I gotta figure it out. Cow, look at all this spaghetti. So look, I went back to the video again, right? And it shows me taking off this belt. This belt, as you can see, is all mangled and sheared and stuff. Well, the reason behind it was because, remember, the transmission pulley was completely dunsky, right? The whole top was sheared off, which is why it killed the drive belt. So I looked it up. The drive belt for an LT1000 is half inch thickness by 83 inches. So this is 83 inches, okay? I also looked up the schematics. The mower deck belt is half inch by 88, okay? So I need a belt that's five inches longer than this one, okay? Because this is 83, I need 88. This, I thought, was a belt from a Craftsman LT1000. If you look at it, it's exactly the same. So what, do I have five drive belts? Doesn't make any sense. I know I have a, I know I have a, uh, a deck belt somewhere. It has to be here because I took it off that old deck. I don't understand it. Look, same size. How do I have so many drive belts? Am I losing my mind? What did I do with that belt? Damn it. So I can't understand it. Uh, the drive belt is 83 inches. This is the drive belt that came off of that, right? I measured it. It's uh, it's about 92 or 93 inches, so it's wrong, you know? So I just tried to put this on there and it's like five inches too um, long. So 88 does sound right, you know? So I've got this looped exactly the way it's supposed to be. Look at the amount of space I still have, you know? And the PTO is engaged. So if the PTO wasn't engaged, right? And I pull this thing back again. This is how much slack I have. So if this belt is 94, I guess 88 would make sense, right? So maybe I have to order a belt that's 88 inches. But, I mean, I had a belt for this deck. I took it out. So weird. So I've tried the next smallest belt, which is an 84, I believe. Somewhere around there, 83, 84. And it uh, just stopped right there. It's too tight. Can't get it over. So maybe I do have to order an 88 inch belt. Um, I'm a little surprised though because the the drive belt that I took off here on the specs it says it's supposed to be 83 inches but yet it's like 92 inches. This one over here is supposed to be 88 inches. I mean I guess it seems like way but I think I might have to check more deeply into this model. I mean this is a 42 deck for a LT1000 you know uh, it should fit but it doesn't so I'm I'm dumbfounded and I don't know what I did with that original belt that I took off of this tractor I usually just throw it in that uh, box of belts but I can't seem to find it so I guess I'm gonna have to order an 80 inch belt but I wasn't gonna keep this deck on this tractor anyway you know so I took a picture of the label of this tractor um, it should have this deck on it, you know, even though this deck is not from this tractor, but it should be. It's the same one for all LT1000s. I've 
done a ton of them. But I got the number there. I'm going to cross-reference, see what the story is about why I can't have a belt that fits this. I thought I had like six or seven of them, but they can't all be dry belts, you know what I mean? Anyway, sometimes it's a head scratcher, you know what I mean? Just can't figure it out. But uh, anyway, thanks a lot to Bill Martini for uh, coming by for a visit. It was great meeting you. And uh, it seems like all the subscribers that come and visit, we all get along very well. We all have like minds and we all are interested in this stuff, you know? So uh, thanks a lot for buying the sticker bill and those Dunsky stickers. They're all yours for the taking. Thanks a lot for joining me on today's episode. We'll see you all next time on Mowers and Blowers. Henry, next time on blow, blow, uh, Blowers and Blowers. See, you just screwed that all up. I take two. Henry, see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Great yeah. Job.